Welcome to a quick update. This is the odds performance tool. Um, if you've not used it before, um, it can take any of your filters that have desired outcomes on them and look at every single game that had odds and it will look at the pre-match odds or the peak odds uh, and you can change that on this setting here. Um, and it'll tell you how profitable it would have been by betting on it. With peak odds, you can adjust this minimum odds slider. Um, and this is the change for, uh, for pre-match odds now you can't adjust the minimum odds slider. How it used to work is it would look through these games and regardless of the actual pre-match odds, it would use your setting in the minimum odds. Um, and that worked very well for, for peak odds because it, it can show you the profit depending on the time you enter the game or what you know when the when the odds were um, at evens or 1.8, 1.9, and you can adjust it and just see how the profit changes. Um, but now, it'll just take the games as they came pre-match, which makes more sense, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, thank you for the, the, the guys that got in touch and asked if that was how it was working, if it was possible. I think now it probably works more in line with how people thought it would work. Um, so you can see this is a profitable filter quite a few wins here, it's for, for home wins. Um, so this will add 0.50, this will add 0 0.67, 0 0.62, 0 0.40. Whereas before, if you had one point, well, 1.5 set in this case, um, because they're all quite low, then it would have just added 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. So you can see how there's potential value being lost in the previous odds performance tool um, system. So as I say, it's just a small tweak but it's one worth mentioning on, on the YouTube and Twitter and stuff just so people are aware of um, how it works now. I'll put it on the Insight blog as well just in case uh, anyone misses it. Um, enjoy. Keep the feedback coming. Thank you.